good morning i welcome you all for a session on characters and strings how are characters and strings handled in c programming this would be the core idea for this discussion on characters and strings this session has been modularized as fundamentals of strings and characters character handling libraries string conversion functions standard input and output library functions string manipulation functions and comparison functions for handling strings now let us start with a brief introduction about characters and strings here we introduce some standard library functions what are these standard library functions these are helpful for string and character processing any c program needs to process characters and strings for this sake we do have some standard string handling library functions programs with the help of these functions can process characters strings lines of text and even blocks of memory okay i have a program that makes use of strings to process a character a string a few lines of text and the blocks of memory where can i make use of this i can make use of this in having a bit of word processing for a page layout software or for type setting programs now let us get into the fundamentals of strings and characters what are characters characters are basic building blocks of any program every program happens to be a sequence of characters which are meaningfully arranged these meaningfully arranged characters together are termed as strings any correct any character constant is treated as an integer value which are representing every single character that are denoted within a quote say for example any character is designated by a single quote this character this character represents the integer value of z that is you would have a specific integer value associated with z and that is being represented by a single quote what we do call as a character these such characters put together could get as strings then what are strings series of characters treated as a single unit are termed as strings it can include letters digits and it can also contain certain special characters a string comprises of a letter a digit or a certain set of special characters a string known as a literal is written in double quotes for example if a character gets represented within a single quote i would represent a string in terms of a double quote a single quote often refers to a character whereas a double quote which is a literal always represents a string strings are arrays of characters string is a pointer towards the first character in the entire list the value of a string is the address of its first character say for example i treat this entire set of characters to be a string out of this a string say for example a is termed to be a pointer that points to the first character of the string so this a is a pointer or a string that points to the first character of the string then the value of this entire string is the address of the first character we all believe that a string is a collection of characters where each and every character would have its own address a value of a string is denoted as the address of the first character this is how we do have fundamentals on strings now we know that a string is a collection of characters but how do we declare a string declaration of a string is more like declaration of a character array if you can recollect our days on arrays we can very well know that an array can be of either type integer character or float wherein we did call a character array as a string so how can i declare a character array a character array starts with the data type called char followed by say the character 
array name which can be initialized with the help of any string named as now here I have declared a character array of type character and I have initialized this as a string inside my character pointer. Now I can also have pointers initialized into this string which mean that the pointer is initialized to the starting address of this character. Now an important point to note down here is whenever I say this is a string that is moved on towards this pointer it means that the memory locations hold characters one by one that is it would hold b as a character l as a character u as a character and then e as a character which is eventually terminated by a null character remember strings are represented as a character array that end with a null character so when i say a string as blue it has five elements rather than four elements where the fifth element happens to be a null character this is how we do declare strings and we store strings within a stipulated area. Now, I have declared a string variable. If I were ever to input a string, what is that I do? I can make use of the normal inputting statement, what we do call as scanf in C programming. How do I input a string within C programming? As usual, we do have the keyword scanf which is used to input values into a C program which is followed by the type specifier that is I am going to input a string so it is percentage yes and I can straight away go out and say it is A. If I had declared a character array by the name A I can straight away get input for this array simply as A. Please remember I need not mention something like an Amberson over here because a string by itself happens to be a string by itself happens to be a pointer so it is not necessary to have an explicit way of saying this is to be stored against the address of a so a simple string can be taken in as like this and then every string has a delimiter in sense of a null character or each function receives a character like an integer value or eof that is end of file as an argument eof stands for end of file so each function receives a character or an eof as a single argument that gets to know that that particular string has terminated now we have certain libraries called as character handling libraries these include functions to perform some useful tests and implementation of character data. These functions receive a character int or something like an end of file to know that it has ended up. Now let us have a brief glance at the various character handling libraries. These character handling libraries would have numerous functions that starts from a is digit function which checks whether the character supplied is a digit or not. If it were a digit, it returns you true, otherwise it returns you a value false. If you can look at this entire table, this table consists of the various functions which are termed as character handling library. You have functions ranging from is digit, is alpha, is alnum, is x digit which checks for whether the given character is a hexadecimal or not. Then it checks for is lower which means that the entire, the entire character happens to be a lowercase alphabet or not. You can also check whether the entire character is an uppercase alphabet or not. You can have two lower which converts the given character towards a lowercase letter. You can have a function like two upper that converts a given character towards an uppercase. You can check whether the given character or the entire character is a space. You can still have a check for a punctuation symbol or you can either have it checked against a printable character or it is some character other than a empty space. So these are the whole host of character handling library functions that we have in C programming. And we can have programs which can make use of these string handling libraries. Then we move on towards 
string conversion functions. What are string conversion functions? These functions come from a header file called stdlib. This is a general utilities library which is used to convert strings of digits to integer and to floating point values. Whenever you want to convert a string towards a digit or a string which is in terms of a digit towards a floating point number or an integer number, you can make use of these functions. The functions range from a to f which is of return type double, you can have a to i which is of type return type integer, you can have a to l which converts a string towards a long integer, you can have str tod which means that you are going to convert the string pointer towards a double. You can also have str to l which converts the string pointer towards a long integer. You can have unsigned long str to l which means that it converts the string pointer to unsigned long. So, these are the various string conversion functions we can have in C programming. Then we move towards the next section what we do call as standard input and output library functions that is the functions that are included in stdio.h. Now these functions are used to manipulate the character and string data. So what are the different functions that are available in this header file that enable us to have interactions within the user program that is how to have characters taken in, how to have strings taken in, how to output characters, how to output strings and how to input a certain set of strings and output a different set of strings. So, for this sake we do have at least 6 functions. The first out of all your functions happen to be a function named as get care which has its return type as integer and does not take in any parameter. What is the function of this? It inputs the next character from the standard input and returns an integer. Then you have another function called gets which takes in a string that is it inputs characters from the standard input into the array until a new line or an end of file character is encountered. I repeat again this tries to input characters from the standard input into the array until a new line or a end of file character is encountered. A terminating null character is appended into that array so that it marks the ending of that entire string. So the first one try to input a character into the array, the second one try to input a string into the array. What next? You have a function by the name put char which has its return type as integer and has its parameter as say another integer. Let us now let us now look how this function works. I said we are going to have a function called int put char int which means I am going to have its return type as int, its function name is put char and its parameter list consists of a single integer. What is the use of this function? This prints the character stored in C program. It would print out a single character that is being stored in this integer variable called C. This is the main use of having a put char function. Then similar to this you would have int puts which is trying to put a string out which is being gathered from a constant, which is being obtained from a constant character yes. Here this is a function that tries to print the string followed by a new line character. As soon as the string gets printed, it moves on towards a new line. Apart from this, we do have two other statements which are used to print strings and which are used to obtain in strings. These functions are termed as sprintf and scanf. What are these functions? What are these written types? The written type of the sprintf statement is int which says that 
the function name is yes printf what are the parameters that we do have here it can have any number of parameters ranging from a character pointer or a constant character or a pointer format it can be innumerous then what is it equivalent to it is equivalent to the printf statement except that the output is stored in the array instead of printing it on the screen what are you like to print will be printed on the screen if you make use of printf but if you make use of yes printf it gets stored in an array rather than getting printed likewise you do have yes scanf with the same set of parameters which is an equivalent to scanf except the input is read from an array instead of reading it from the keyboard so these are the various string hand string standard input and output functions that we have in stdio.h then we move on towards the next section what we do call as string manipulation functions how are strings handled by libraries how are strings manipulated how are strings searched what is the token size of a string how do i determine the string length all these are getting done in string manipulation and string handling functions which are present in string handling libraries let us have a glance at each one of them one by one 